in, in order to attract the medical tourism in the country, you need to have a perfect health system. And you should have be able to have facilities which deals with that item. Now, government facilities might not be able to deal with it because it's free, unless they put charges. And the second is, and the number of beds in the hospitals and other things are not enough for the population. So that, I think, is out of the horizon at the moment until, until, until the, the health system of the, of the public health system to be developed a little bit more uh, and make availability of the facilities in order to do this. The hospitals are very busy, and the primary health cares are not the place to have a tourism. The private sector can do it now, and not many of them, but some of them can do it. And, uh, and I'm not quite sure if that is thinking is already going on in the private sector or not, because they already have enough people from Kuwait who is going to do it. But eventually, in the long run, it is possible. But at this stage, I think we should concentrate on a number of things which needs to be done to make the health system more efficient and to be able to use the facilities in a better way. Now, uh, Kuwait, uh, uh, between the primary health care and the hospitals, there is no connectivity. So the patients come to the primary health care, get the treatment, but for certain things, has to go to the hospital. So the response from between hospital to the primary health care is not always easy to see what he got in the hospital, what he got the primary health care. What is needed to be done is a network of the electronically which connects all the primary health care to the general hospital to start. And we have done that. And we have already finished three governorates out of, out of five which they have primary health care uh, or general hospital they have. And we are working on the fourth governorate, which is uh, Ahmadi government now, uh, which will be done by beginning, finished by beginning of uh, February. And beyond that is one more left, which will do it by the end of, before the end of March of this year. That means the whole Kuwait is on one network. And no matter where you go, your, your file shows electronically of what you have taken and what kind of treatment you had and how many times you have taken the drug. At the, at the same time, we have agreed with the ministry that we put the standard of care in the, prim, in, in the, in the elect, electronically in, 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 the, in, in, in the system where it will help the doctor to make the decision of for that condition, what kind of drug to be, to be given. Having said that, we still have to train the primary healthcare professionals in order to, uh, to be able to, to deal with the chronic conditions. Because uh, the chronic condition, it was not, uh, most of it, especially diabetes, was not what we were teaching at a medical school before in the South or countries of the South. And uh, so the, the knowledge of how to do this especially right now, doesn't, is not as, as that level. So we are, uh, 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 we have planned to, to retrain the primary healthcare professionals or, or health, health system group, and in order to be able to, for them to come to certain level of, of the knowledge that they can deal with the, with the, with the diabetes. We are talking about 500. And we are doing this with the University of Dundee in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And our, our electronic health record also is the, what we are providing in the collaboration with the University of Dundee in Scotland and also with Harvard Group in Boston. So we will have the in, uh, knowledge of the other institutions with us in order to, to move this to a different level. And I think for that, we're going to be very unique in the region we're going to be very unique in the world of what we do between the standard and between and between the between the standards we are putting in between the way the package of dealing with a patient or i say individuals is very different it has got 
basically under this house here in here, that it is the tertiary, not the first, not primary, not secondary, but tertiary, which is knowledge-based institution, we are able to, to give the person who is coming, the patient who is coming to us, the total package between education, between research we do with him, and between the clinical, uh, clinical uh, uh, support, which includes everything. Under this umbrella, you can do everything. We have even uh, a walking track, swimming pool, exercise place to show them how to do the change the lifestyle. And we also have the cooking class, for example, for healthy cooking. And we have a lot of training for the public, whether diabetic or not, because there is on the public, on the individual, is a responsibility of their health, which they need to, to, to apply it. It's no good to eat so much and then you get the diabetes early and you don't know what to do with it. There's a lot of things they can do to take the diabetes to a later age or and so on. Plus we have a genome center here where we look the relation between genes and the, the diseases. And this is not for really understanding what, what, what gene is compared to the disease, but actually using that in order to make the prevention and educate people what to do in order to delay having the disease by years if they know they're susceptible to get this. We have 50 projects already ongoing in, in here, research projects we have, which is ongoing in, 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 in Dasman. And uh, uh, most of them are related to the condition and information that we like to see of the diabetes and its complications and obesity and other areas that both for Kuwaitis and non-Kuwaitis, it's a whole population we have to look at. Because also diabetes, you can find it in the non-Kuwaiti non population. And they are actually being treated also in the hospitals here. So we're gonna look at the total package of what it is and what they need to do. And we try to make sure that people will be able, especially at the age of between five and 11, what they, you can, you, they can, you can learn to prevent what is happening today in that age group.